Every month I'm giving away a prize from this video's sponsor, Azatec Sim Sports. This month we're giving away a pair of Azatec Sim Sports Invicta Sim Racing boots worth $100. Stick around till the end of the video to learn how to win. Hey folks, welcome back for another season of Track Guides. We're kicking things off with Hockenheim. As always, it's fixed setup. We're running full race fuel. Um, I hope you enjoy the guide. I hope you find it useful. If you do, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I will hopefully see you out there on the track at some point this week. Cheers. Okay, so here we go with my 136.3 here at Hockenheim. Uh, full race fuel, um, fixed setup, and just to note that uh, this is obviously a night race, but it wouldn't be much of a track guide because uh, it would all be black. So what I have done is I've uh, got it as close as I can to temperature. It's actually a little bit hotter here than it would be for you. Um, and I'm doing sunrise instead of after sunset. So this is as close as I could really get it. Uh, so we're approaching turn one. We want to position ourselves right on top of this curbing. And about kind of uh, a third, nearly halfway along, we're going to push the brakes. We're going to drop to fourth. And then right at the very end of the curb, we're going to fling the car in. We're going to get nice and tight to the curb, trail brake all the way in, and then we need to get on the gas really, really quickly. But we do need to watch that exit. It's very, very easy to pick up the off track on exit there. But the key there is to get on the gas nice and early. Now, I'm going to brake between the 150 and the 100 board, a little bit closer to the 100 board, way before this little um, inlet path on the left-hand side. Um, we're going to get the car down to second initially, keeping it positioned on the left-hand side. And then at the end of the curbing, we're really going to turn in and then switch down to first and get as tight as we can to this uh, red sausage curb on the inside. We need to be tight here. We want the car to turn really quickly so that we can get back on the gas without pushing ourselves too far out. So straight up to first into second and then um, use all the track on exit. I had a little bit of a moment here. I, I could have let the car go out a little bit wider. Uh, and then we're full barrel down towards the tightest hairpin pretty much in all of iRacing. We're watching the curbing coming up. And then as the curbing starts, heavy onto the brake, basically 90% brakes there, dropping down through the gears. And then we want to make sure that we're uh, apexing really really tight here I took a bit too much curb here not ideal but I was still able to apply the accelerator and get the car turned and we got a reasonably good exit there minimize steering around here but then 
we're looking immediately up to the curb on the right hand side and we're going to point ourselves out towards it we want to use all of the track here and we're down to second and then just before the end of the curbing we're turning in as we're trail braking to really prompt that car to rotate so we're pulling out of the brakes as we're steering round another little moment there um, but we kept sort of uh, rear traction reasonably well so the idea here is that we don't use all of the exit here we don't want to get onto the curb there it's going to unbalance us we want to get the car turned around as quick as we can And we only really lifted a light bit on that right hander just to prompt the car to initially turn so now we're looking for this little kink the tiniest kink in the white line here uh, and that's where we're going to break we're going to do some reasonably light initial braking and then we're going to hold a trail brake and really turn in early and aggressively here and get onto this red curbing Back onto the gas give it a moment at about 70 percent gas just to keep traction and then where the concrete uh, changes color here just before the 50 board we're going to get heavily into the brakes point the car towards the inside we want to get down into second and as we're waiting for the car to loosen speed we can see that um bloody great bottle ahead of us by the grandstand and that is our cue to start applying the gas again and then we want to get really tight on the curb on the on the left hand side here with a view to being able to come out really wide towards the left hand side and have the car be relatively straight by the time we get there because we want to do some braking on approach to the curb and then fling the car in to the right. If you come in a bit hot here, you can drop down to second. But if you can keep it in third, you're going to carry more speed. And we want to be relatively tight to the inside curb here. And then a little bit of gas. Let the car come out. Uh, you can go over the curb here on the left a reasonable amount. And then on that gap there between the red paint, we want to turn it in, come out of the gas again, let the car settle and then build it back up. And you can use a surprising amount of this exit here. Get a little bit on the dirt. As long as you're back on the track by the time that uh, expanded exit is done, you're golden. So that's my 136.3 here at Hockenheim. Best of luck for your racing here this week. Um, if you found the video useful please do like the video please do subscribe to the channel for more of these track guides for the rest of the season uh, best of luck and hopefully see you out there on the track cheers folks as i mentioned at the start of the video every month we're giving away a fantastic prize from this video sponsor ace tech sim sports all you've got to do for your chance to win is be a subscriber and comment or live chat in any of my videos or streams between now and week four of the iRacing schedule i'll pick a random winner to become one of the first people in the world to own a pair of Azatec Sim Sports Invictus Sim Racing boots worth $100 and they're shipping late August. Azatec Sim Sports boots allow you to stay unconquered on the track and achieve peak performance. And who doesn't want peak performance?